Good morning, good afternoon, and evening. Those of you on replay, welcome. We're looking forward to another great session. Today is going to be focused on our core strength with some high intensity move uh, mixed in. So get ready to feel the heat. Have your light to medium weights available because it's mostly core focused. We won't go too heavy, but um, using body weight mostly. Okay, so let's stretch it out first. Go ahead and take a big step back. Go into a lunge position. Slowly drop that back leg down to the ground if possible. And then lean into it a little bit further. Hold it there for a few more seconds. Feel that stretch in your hip. And then bring it back up nice and slow. Come up to your feet. Opposite leg goes forward again into a low lunge. Drop that back leg down to the ground and then lean into the front leg as best as you can. If you have any discomfort on your knee, then just don't go as far. Feel the stretch as you press your back in reverse and bring it back up nice and slow. Come to a standing position. Just past shoulder width apart, slide down to your left ankle, right hand comes up. And slide it up nice and slow, let's go to your right. And one more time back to your left. that leg straight as possible and slide it back up one more time on the right. If your muscles are sore at all, we want to just gently stretch them out. Slide up, deep breath in, arms go up, exhale down to the ground, drop your head, let it relax. Slowly roll it up, zip that spine. Again, inhale, arms up, exhale, and then down to the ground. Let your head hang down. Good, roll yourself back up like you're zipping up a spine. Come into a center standing position and high knees. Just bring those knees up as high as you can comfortably go, nothing too fast. Let's take it to the back. And pick it up. Good, forward. Big arm circles forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it back. Three, two, one. Good. Let's come up to our neck. Gently go to our right. And then let's slowly go over to our left. Good, let's go back over to our right, nice and slow, nothing too fast with our neck. And let's go back over to our left. You notice that one side may go down further than the other, showing that one side is tighter. For me, my right side is a lot tighter than my left side. I, can, I cannot go down as far on this side as I can on the other side. Okay, slowly come up, bring chin to chest. We're gonna roll it from shoulder to shoulder. Try 
and bring that, keep that chin close to the body, nice and slow. Rolling it. Good. If you find any tight spots that you feel need more work, just go ahead and grab that hand and rub it back there. Rub that muscle out. Press into it and then come back, revisit. That'll allow the blood flow to get into that muscle group. Okay, great. Roll those shoulders. Couple more. Lift, reverse, lower. With all of our cell phone and tablet usage nowadays, you know, our neck, our poor neck is really getting, taking the brunt of it. Okay, reverse it. Pull those shoulders all the way back. Lift them up and then bring them forward. Pull it all the way back, up and then forward. This should feel good. It should feel like a nice stretch on your neck and shoulders. Great, okay, cross arm over and just gently give it a squeeze. Other arm over, gently give it a squeeze. Let's bring it to the back, try and touch your back. Gently push your elbow back. Babe, could you give me a long charger, please? And then let's go to our right. Realize my iPad's going to go down. Okay, I think we should be ready to go. So if you missed me saying it, uh, have your light and medium weights. We will be focused on our core primarily today. We're gonna to be calling today, Torch the Core. So you should be feeling it by the end of the class. Um, I will have modifications for those that need it. Remember, there is always a modification. Just keep moving. The point is to stay moving for the hour and really just feel it. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into it. Before we get into specific core moves, we're going to do some high intensity. So it's going to be nonstop. Let me just get my timer out. Let me explain what we're going to do real quick and then we're going because we're going to roll through them. So first one is going to be high knees. We're going to bring those knees up as high as we can comfortably go. Not just, not just stepping. We want to bring them up as high as we can comfortably go. Level one, you do not need to jump. You just need to bring them up high. Get that stretch in there. Okay? You, if you would like to speed it up, you can go with more of a hop jump, but that's going to be pressure on your knees, so keep that in mind. Then we're going to go down to the ground, go into a high plank position, and do shoulder taps. So shoulder taps on the ground, high plank position. Level one, you can be on your knees while doing this, or you can be up and down on your knees. And then the third one is going to be a step back lunge. Step back lunge to, when I do it slow, I kind of fall over. Step back lunge to a high knee. Step back lunge, high knee. Get your balance, step back and then bring it up. Make sure we're tucking that knee in as close to our body when we're doing it, okay? We're not gonna time these, we're gonna count these. We're gonna do 10 on each side if it's a left and a right, or we're gonna do 20 total. So with, um, with, with all of them, we're doing a left and a right, so we'll do 10 and then a 10. It will be a total of 20. We're not really gonna stop. So let me just get the camera so I can hop up and down. Okay, so let's get started on that first one, which is high knees. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna go down to the ground, straight into it. High plank position, shoulder taps. When you're in position, ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come back up to your feet. Letting somebody in. Now we have our reverse lunge to high knee. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Step it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Woo. nine, keep your balance, ten, good, good job. Now we're going to go back to those high knees and change it up a bit. So this next one, high knees down to the ground, mountain climbers, then standing back up, cross body crunch all the way through. You control the speed. So um, if you wanna go faster, then you're gonna go faster. If you wanna go slower, then you can slow it down. I'm just trying to get my camera so it can do both. I think right there is good. Okay, ready, high knees. If you wanna go a little faster, you can. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's 20 for me. How about for you? 20. Down to the ground. High plank position. Mountain climber. So it's just up and down. One, two. We got 20 total. Ready? And go. Seven, eight. Okay, I got 20. How about you? You pick your speed back up to your feet. Cross body crunch, elbow to knee. 20 total. Ready and go. Okay, I'm at 20. How about you? I'll wait for you. Okay, third round. High knees, then down to the ground. Bridge lift, shoulder tap. I'll show you that one. And excuse me, then swimmer kicks. I'm trying to talk and catch my breath. So, high knees, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, eight. Okay, that's 20 for me. How about you? Take it down to the ground. Sit it in a seated position. we are going to a bridge lift. So bring that center up, hold it here, and then we're gonna reach over opposite shoulder above our head and tap. So we're reaching over and over, 10 on each side total of 20, holding that bridge the whole time. Level one, if your bridge drops, it needs to come back up. Just do your best as you can, okay? Ready? And go. One, two, three. That's 10 for me. Keep that bridge up. That's 20. Roll up to a sitting position. We have swimmer kicks. Now, we give you a modification. This is level two. Straight back, V formation, feet in the air, hands in the air. Kick, straight legs, tightening that core. Level one, if you cannot do that, 
You can lay all the way flat, put your legs up, and kick in the air a little bit higher. That will lower the intensity. We have just 20. So get into position, point those toes, hold that B, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Keep that back straight. 18, 20. Woo. Should be feeling good. Heart rate coming up. Just wanted to wake the body up before we get into some definite core action. So let's come back up to our feet. Grab a sip of water if you need. I am working out without the air. So you can, the room temperature is probably near 80. I'm not for sure. But that does um, definitely bring up the body temperature quicker. Okay, so we're gonna take a small break with balancing. So we're gonna focus on some balancing moves. Let me just show you, this is just a small break is what I'm calling it, but you're still gonna be focusing on those core muscles. So we're gonna take our right leg, bring it to a little tippy toe position, just below us, okay? Or just behind us. Then we're gonna just gently raise it off the ground, maybe, maybe like an inch, nothing too crazy. Okay, so right leg, and then bring it up. And then our left hand is gonna go out. And then our right hand is gonna reach down, touch the ground, and come up. That's all, okay? So we're just trying to keep our balance, do this nice and slow. You don't know how many people I've heard have thrown their back out. They're like, all I did was bend down, pick something up off the ground, and now I'm toast. So we have to focus on these minor muscle groups. Left leg is balancing, ready? Right tippy toe behind us. Gently lift it off the ground. Get your balance with your hands. Level one, have a chair or something handy so that you don't fall over. Slowly reach down, touch that ground, and then come back up nice and slow. Let's switch sides. Same thing, right leg stabilizing. Left leg goes behind us, gently off the ground. Left, reach down, come back up. Can you feel how shaky your leg or feet start to kind of really, really stabilize you? That's a good thing. Let's do it again. Switch sides, left leg. Bring that foot up a little bit higher this time if possible. Reach down, touch the ground. Slowly come back up. Good. Go right leg, switch sides. Left leg behind us. Get your balance. Try and go down with your left hand and then come back up. Good. Whew. Awesome. Now we're going to bring our foot in front of us. So come forward facing. Get your balancing arms like you're on a tight rope. Right, right leg comes up. We're going to bring it up. Bend that knee. Drop it down in a bent position. Bring it back up. Pretend you're on a tight rope and we're just bending that knee, bringing it up, trying to stabilize on our left side. If this is super easy for you, then great. Your balancing is really good. Your balancing muscles are awesome. If this is difficult for you, then you know you have some work to do. These are minor muscle groups and your foot. One more. Good, okay, drop it down. Let's switch sides, test out the other foot. Right leg is stationary. Left leg is lifted up. Then we bend it, bring it down, bring it up. This is not a waste of time because you do not want to fall over. Walking across the street, you do not want to fall over. Just nice and slow bends, lifting it up and down. We are also working our core muscles here, core 
back and feet. One more, bring it up and bring it down, good. Woo. Okay, we got one more. Have a chair handy, level one if needed. We're gonna go into a Superman fly. So hands are gonna be above us, they're in front of us. Left foot is stationary. We're gonna raise that right leg and try and go parallel to the ground as best as we can. Hold it there. Hold it there, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. Go to the other side. Right leg stays stationary. Raise those arms. Left leg comes up. Try and go parallel to the ground. Hold it there. Again, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Whew. Good job, that was your balancing break. You should be feeling warm, heated up. Good. Okay, so those are moves. Those are simple moves that you can do that just simply target all your minor muscle groups and particularly your feet. You have hundreds of bones in your feet and small muscle groups that really help to balance us. So we have to take care of them as well. Okay, ready for your core burn session? Hope so. <laughs> Come down to the ground. We're gonna stay here for a minute. Not literally a minute, but you know the same. We're gonna be here for a minute. Gonna be more than a minute. <laughs> okay, so let me just grab all my stuff and move it where I can see. Go to your right side. We're gonna stay on one side at a time. Come down to a low plank on your forearm. Level one, you can have a bent knee helping you. Level two, both legs straight. You're going for hip dips. So hand on your hip, forearm below your shoulder. Try and keep that in line. We are going to lift that hip off the ground and drop it down, going for 10 times. Okay, ready? Level one, you can have an assistant with your leg if needed, but try for, the, try for straight leg if you can. Here we go. 10, nine, get it up off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll it over to a low plank position. Okay, I'm still on my knees while I'm explaining this. Get into that low plank position. You're gonna go rainbow. Right, center, left, center. So we're creating a rainbow dip, both sides. One is from right to left, that's a one. So we gotta do both sides before we count one. Then we're gonna go to two. We're going for 10 total. So it's gonna be 10 on each side. Low plank position, keep that core off the ground. Let's go. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine and ten. Come to your knees. Good job. We're going to go back into that low plank position. You just came up here for a slight breather. Low plank position with a marching foot. So we're going to go into that low plank again. And we are going to lift alternating sides left and right. You go ten on each side, so a total of twenty. Here we go, low plank, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Keep that four above the ground, that's five, 
six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, woo, ten, ten. Good. Come to your knees. Gotta focus on that form. Do the best you can. Try and keep it elevated off the ground. Deep breath. Heart rate's coming up. Good job. Heat should be coming up because I know whenever we do our stationary planks, we get hot, right? <clears throat> we're gonna go into a high plank position now. And this time we're going to reverse it. So we're going to raise our arms right and then left. While in that high plank position, so we're here, one, one. Got it? Ready? And go. One, one, two, two. Shift that weight. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good. Now, I should have mentioned through any of these level one, if you need to be on your knees partial the partial of the time, go ahead. Go ahead. It's uh it's you do what you can do. If you can only do half of them uh, with with a high plank, then that's great. But we just want to build up our strength, right? So go for the full, and then if you need to come down, you can come down. Okay, next one. We're going to a high plank position again. I come back to a seated to give you a break. Let's chat for a minute <laughs> or a few seconds. Come back to a high plank. We have same side crunches. So level one, yours is gonna look like this, where you're on all fours, okay? Level two, you're gonna be in a high plank position and yours is gonna look like down. Down. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 on each side. We're gonna stay on one side at a time just to keep our balance. Go into a high plank. Here we go. Raise that arm. One, two, three, four, woo, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Good job. Let's switch sides. Switch sides. High play. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, Woo, got a little wobbly on that one. Now, I have a left foot injury that sometimes makes those types of balancing ones hard. So if you have any type of foot or ankle in injury, just do what you can do. You might need to be on your knees for that one because you will um, get a little bit off balance because I don't want you to hurt yourself. So keep that in mind. Come into a seated position. We have bicycles, okay? Bicycle position. Level one, if you cannot keep your feet up in the air, you're gonna drop them down each time. But everybody else and everybody just try for our bicycle position, which is tabletop with our legs, crunch position, hands behind the base of your skull, stretch and reach, stretch and reach, okay? We are gonna go for 20, which is 10 on each side. Again, here we go. Ready, get in position. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stop. All the way down. Let it relax for a second. Roll to your side. We need to go back to our 
Left side and get that left hip dip in, and then we're done with this circle. Circuit. So remember, we started off with our right hip dip. We're gonna end with our left hip dip. So go to your left side, forearm position, straight legs. You're gonna get your hip and core off of the ground. Level one, you can have a bent knee assisting you. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Great job, guys. You just finished circuit one of that core. We're gonna do it all again. <laughs> Hope you're ready. So you won't be feeling it if we only did it one time, right? So if you need, grab a sip of water. We're gonna go back into it. How you guys doing? Doing good. You guys look good. Okay, so. We're gonna start back on our right side. We have those right hip dips, a lot of planking in here. So getting that core burning, temperature up, core being strengthened, right? Okay, so when you're ready, come back down onto the ground, straight legs, we have hip dips. Ready and go, 10, nine, get that hip off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna roll it over to that rainbow plank. Roll it over, low plank position. Ready and go. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job from to your knees. Come up for a slight breather. You guys are good. We're gonna go back down to a low plank for those marching feet. You should, you should be feeling some heat right now. These planks should be heating you up. Unless it's really cold where you are, then maybe not so much. <clears throat> okay, low plank. Low plank position. Raising those feet. Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good job, come back to your knees. Slight break. Deep breath in. We got one more. High plank. Raise your arms. Deep breath. Let's go high plank this time. Get into position. Level one, you can have your, your knee or a knee off the ground, but let's try for the high plank. Raising your arms. Here we go. One, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good job. Back to your knees. Woo! We have same side leg crunch. Now, 
This is the one I was telling you about, your ankle. You need to be mindful of it. Try and go slow and controlled so that you're balancing your ankle. And if you need to, pause, stop, or change positions. Maybe go down to a knee. So you can go onto a knee, hold it, and crunch for a modification. Obviously, this is a lot easier, but it's more support. Okay, here we go. Ready? Lift, crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just fell over. <laughs> nine, nine, ten. One more. There we go. Had to go one more. I just fell over, guys. That just shows your balance. Switch over to your left side. Be careful with your ankles. They may get fatigued. We are working those smaller muscle groups. So you have to just be mindful of it. And laugh at yourself. Know when to laugh. Know when to love. <laughs> okay, here we go. High plank position. Right side. Lift. Crunch. Reestablish your balance. Talking to myself here. Three, four, five, six. Don't rush it. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Got through all ten without without falling over. Good job. Okay. We are on bicycles. Let's roll over into a seated position. Tabletop with your legs. Bring your neck and shoulders off the ground. We're gonna straighten each leg. Keep that core crunched. Ready and go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, Eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Let's go one more. And stop. Good. Bring it down. I'm pushing you a little bit, right? Last one. Left side plank. Hip dips. Side plank. Hip dips. Ending it on the left side. Start it on your right. So come on your hips. Straighten out those legs. Ready, and go. Get that hip off the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Get it off the ground as best you can. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And good job. Second round of that. Great job. So let's come up to our feet. We're gonna go back to some cardio, and then we'll go back to our core. Good job. Grab a sip of water. You can feel the glow. I am definitely feeling the glow. Grab some water. Now remember, with this circuit, we're going down, up and down, up and down, right? So you should be a little bit more familiar with it. First three, we're doing high knees, plank shoulder taps, and then a reverse stand back up, a reverse lunge with a high knee tuck. Okay, so first one, high knees, you can go fast or you can go slow. If you're going slower, bring those knees up as high as you can. Okay, we're focusing on that. If you wanna do like a little jog in place, you can as well. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, that should be it. 10 on each side. Down to the ground. For shoulder taps, high plank position. 10 on 
on each side. Ready, and go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, good. Back up to our feet. Reverse lunge, it's a deep step back, and then knee tuck. Get that knee up and tucked. Ready? And go. Down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, let's switch sides. Woo! Left side, well I was on my right, so I'm going to my left, ready? And go, down, up. Three, going for 10. Up that knee in. Ten. Woo! So be mindful if you're a little off balance. That's definitely back down to your feet. Okay. We're back to high knees. Then we go down to the ground for mountain climbers. And then back up for cross body crunch. So Get ready, 10 on each side, high knees, let's go. One, get it up high, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that should be 10. Stop when you're there, 10 on each side. Down to the ground, high knees. You can either do a step, step, or you can do a one, two, one, two. More of like a little jog, okay? So you pick the speed, 20 total, ready, and go. Okay, you should be done with your 10. Back up to your feet. Standing cross body. Cross body crunch. Ready. Elbow to knee. Here we go. One, one, two, three. Cross it over. Nine. Almost there. And 10. Sometimes I do one extra for good measure. Okay, back to those high knees. We have high knees. Then we're dropping it down for the bridge lift shoulder tap with the bridge lift. And then the third one is the swimmer kicks. Heart rate should be beating pretty good. Okay, so high knees, you pick your speed, ready, and go. And that's 20 for me. Four, 10 on each side. Pop it down to the ground for that bridge lift. So remember on that bridge lift, you want your core up off the ground as high as you can possibly hold it and hold it there the whole time. Level one, you can bring it down and up in between as needed. Ready? Pop it up, hold it there. Reach, reach, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. 
Good, drop it down. We have swimmer kicks last. So level one, you can lay all the way flat and bring your feet more up in the air, kick in the air. Level two, we're gonna hold that V position in a, in a V up position. And we're going to kick right here. Okay, so grab, get your body into that nice V position. Spine is straight, point those toes. Ready, and go. Couple more. And stop. Good job. Okay, that was our cardio break. We're doing great, guys. Doing really good. We're gonna go back down to the ground for some more core moves, uh, focus on core. Grab some water if you're really hot. Make sure you keep drinking, stay hydrated. Okay, we're gonna spend some time down here. This time we're gonna go a little bit stationary. So what does that mean? These on certain ones, we're just gonna hold it. So get into that right side plank position. And instead of lifting, we're just gonna hold. So come down onto your forearm. Level one, you have a knee as an option, but let's try it all with straight legs. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds instead of lifting it, okay? Ready, and lift, hold it there, just holding it. Remember to breathe, hold it there. 20 seconds, not that bad, right? Three, two, one, drop it down, switch sides. Straight into the left, get into position, shoulder and elbow lined up, and go. Just holding it, remember to breathe, heating your core up. Almost there, last 10. Three, two, one, Good, drop it down. Piece of cake, right? Okay, let's go onto our forearms. And we have a rainbow roll. We're going to roll that one from each side, each side. This time, we're gonna do as many as we can do in 30 seconds, okay? So, not counting as much this time. Ready, watching the clock, go. as many as you can do, but keep that form. Come up in the center, right, center, left. Keep it going. Three. Almost there. And stop. Come to your knees. Whew. You should be feeling the heat, right? Oh, so hot. Okay, next. We're gonna hold that low plank, marching feet. Again, we are not gonna count. We are gonna time. We're gonna time it. So go down onto a low plank. Ready, and go, lift, lift, alternating sides. Keep that core off the ground, try and have nice straight form. Good job, come on. 
If you need to drop to your knees, go ahead. Last one. Woo! And stop. Deep breath. Deep breath. Good job, you guys. Hold your motion. It's hot. If you're not sweating, you can have to mess with me. Because uh, it's hot. Okay. Going to go to high plank position, raising the arms once again, not counting, doing as many as you can in 30 seconds. So go into that high plank position. Ready, and go. Shifting the weight. Strengthening those core and side oblique muscles. Last five. Last one. And stop. Good job. Woo! Okay. Next one. Same side. Elbow to knee crunch. But remember, we were just doing it one side. Um, this time, we're going to go alternating sides. So it's going to be more, more of a, uh, let me demonstrate, more of a one, two. Okay, so you're going to rotate from each side. Okay, so you're going to get that rotating motion. You're going to alternate each side. Once again, 30 seconds, not counted. As many as you can do. High plank position, let's go. One, two, okay? Keep it going. Watching the clock for you. Keep that ankle in mind, doing a lot of work. Have proper form. Couple more. And stop. Roll those wrists. Gonna roll it over for bicycles. Woo! Almost done, you guys. Almost done. Okay. Lay it down. Crunch position. Tabletop legs. Here we go, bicycles. As many as you can do. 30 seconds. Get those shoulders off the ground. Five. Three. Two. And one. Drop it down. Woo! One more. Swimmer kicks. Gonna end it on swimmer kicks. Then we're going into our stretching. So one more, guys. Get into that deep crunch for, uh, formation. Have a straight spine, not a rounded spine. Get that spine straight. Point your legs, ready? And go. Try and go for 30. Level one, you can lay flat. You can try this. Stop as needed. Almost there. Come on, keep that form. Tighten your core. Last five. Two, one, drop it down. Drop it down. Roll the extra four. Roll to your side. And sit up. Oh boy, guys. You're looking forward to that shower, right? Roll it over. And get some stretching in. 
We're almost done with the class. Bring the left leg forward, right leg goes back. Hand on your thigh. And press it up. Deep breath. Right leg comes forward, left leg goes back. Press it back as far as you can comfortably go. Deep breath. Bring both legs to the back. Sit in between them. Walk it out, lay flat. Good, come up, let's go into a seated position. Gentle spinal stretch, lay flat. Roll to your left hip, right leg comes over. Gently hold it to the ground as you bring your right leg, a right arm to the ground. Feel that stretch in your spine. sweaty selfie. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes, it's, it's gross to me. Yes, but it's okay. It's for a better purpose. <laughs> I can't believe it. I am so, so hot. Planking. It does it, right, Christina? Curly hair, got the, got the curls out. Oh my goodness. I'm gotta read <laughs> I, I, that's, I think that's my problem with sweating is, you know, when you have curls, you have to completely redo your hair. You can't just like, you know, let it, let it go again. You're just like, man, my hair got messed up. Now I got to redo it. So that's a stigma I got over a long time ago and um, just in, embrace it, right? Getting that lymphatic system out, drink lots of water. We're flushing out toxins. We're releasing stress. So it's really, really good for you. Smile for the camera. I'll attach it to our email. One, two, three, cheese. Good job, you guys. Great having you to work out with. And those of you on replay, hope you guys liked it. We'll see you soon. Message me. Talk to you later. Bye.